And now with the search for a very bold thief accused of stealing a part from a car as it sat parked outside a busy grocery store. Action News reporter George Solis talked to the victim today. He joins us now live from Maple Glen with her story, plus photos of the crime in progress. George. That's right, Brian and Sarah. What's really got some blood boiling out here in this community is how brazen this crime was. It happened in broad daylight here in the shopping center where people were out shopping. Some people assuming that perhaps someone was working on their car when it happened. Now, I just got off the phone with police who say they have hopefully identified some suspects and they are warning the public if they see this happen to call them immediately. The initial reaction was one of shock and awe. Surprising that it happened here. I mean, in a small town like this. Can't believe something like that would actually happen in Maple Glen right here in broad daylight. But that's exactly what happened. Photos taken by witnesses and now part of a police investigation documented what witnesses said was the theft of a catalytic converter from the giant grocery store parking lot off Norristown Road that occurred this past weekend. Even though I knew a catalytic converter had been stolen, I had no idea what that was or what it meant. We spoke to the victim whose 2008 Toyota Prius had happened to under the condition of anonymity. So I didn't even know if the car would start and it did, but it sounded like a truck with no muffler on it. Automotive experts say that's about right. But the volume of the exhaust would drive you enough to have it looked at right away. Mainline Auto Center owner Eddie Herskovitz said the emission control devices are coveted by criminals because of the precious metals contained within. Inside of this casing is your three metals that are very expensive. Auto experts say the converters themselves generally have a shelf life of about 80 to 100,000 miles depending on cars care. Reputable auto body shops are expected to return defunct ones or face paying a steep penalty. Replacing them broken or stolen can set you back a few thousand. A man stepped in front of me and said, don't even think about it, ma'am, just back away. The victim of this theft wasn't about to go down without a fight. Just started screaming at the top of my lungs, help, police, theft. With the damage done, the hope is some level of justice. I love my little car <laughs> and I wanted to try to protect it if I could. Yeah, guys, now the biggest problem here is auto experts say that criminals can make short work out of getting these catalytic converters. Fortunately, they say there are products in development like cages to put around them to make it a little more difficult for those criminals to snag them. We are live in Maple Glen, George Solis, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah.